Emma Groves, the importance of tonight's motion. Um, well, tonight's motion is calling on all our Belfast City Councillors, um, our officers and staff within the Council to sign up to the Modern Air on Disease Charter that has been set up. This charter is calling um, for people uh, who are suffering from uh, motor neurons and their cars that they get the right uh, car at the right time, at the right place. Um, so it's important that, this, that, that we get as many people as possible to sign up to this, um, to raise awareness um, of motor neuron disease. Unfortunately, there's still not an awful lot of information out there for people. Um, and as councillors and as elected reps for the city, I think it's our duty to help where we can and highlight this issue for people. And how important is it that Belfast City Council support this? The council support is very important. Um, we've we've um, had a lot of support from the council over the last year with the previous Lord Mayor, Martin O'Miller, and with Nicola Mallon as well. And it's been really, really fantastic. As Emma has said, awareness is the key thing with motor neuron disease. And we've seen that over the last while where we've tried to raise the profile and what that has actually, hap- what has actually happened on the back of that is people have come to us and said, we like to design designate MNDNI as our charity for the next year. So for us that's a big plus on the back of the awareness campaigns that we've been running. How big a problem is it throughout the end of Ireland? Um, I mean, the, the various uh, agencies that support motor neuron disease do a fantastic job. The issue with motor neuron disease itself is it's a, a, a rare condition. It's classed as a rare disease and it only affects two one hundred thousand people. So when you're dealing with something like that against some of the bigger conditions where the, the um, Pharmaceutical companies um, are looking at the bigger conditions because that's where the money's to be made in relation to treatments and stuff. So for us, it's more about trying to raise the profile of the conditions so that there'd be more breakthroughs in, in research into the condition and hopefully finding a cause and a cure. For a disease, it's been diagnosed now for over 140 years and been written about, and we still don't know what the key causes are, and there's still no cure for a condition that has a prognosis of between two and five years for people. Is you know, it's it's staggers belief that in this day and age we're still at that stage. Now, what we have seen over the last couple of years a real um, step up in the in the research area in relation to finding some uh, genes that that can be isolated to try and determine the cause of the condition, and hopefully that'll accelerate over the next couple of years with the money. Of Especially, it's been raised through the ice bucket challenge worldwide. Now, we've done another significant victory for Short Strand. Yeah, well, tonight, Council are ratifying additional investment into the refurbishment work uh, agreed for Short Strand Community Centre. Um, we actually, through Council's local investment fund, agreed uh, £94,000 uh, investment to carry out refurbishment work. Um, we actually uh, encountered some problems, as these things tend to do, and needed to address uh, a bit of a shortfall. Luckily, these Belfast Area Working Group uh, agreed to meet that shortfall, um, albeit uh, a very modest one, which would then uh, couple in with the money which we've got from uh, SIF as well. Obviously, the refurbishment uh, work uh, is long overdue. Um, it's a community asset and facility that's utilised very, very heavily for mothers and toddlers, right through to dancing groups, right through to senior citizens groups, childcare uh, provision, uh, training and employment opportunities. These are all things that happen in that centre day and daily in a community which I think everyone will recognise and appreciate that hasn't seen any significant uh, investment over generations. Um, so, you know, that's hopefully the beginning of the turn of the worm uh, now that there's a Sinn Féin voice in the City Hall for that particular part of the city, um, albeit uh, a, a small step at this stage, certainly a step in the right direction and certainly symbolic of bigger and better things to come. Arda Carson, an early Christmas present for Sarsfield CAC? Yes, indeed, very happy to say that uh, to meet the West Belfast Area Working Group uh, a couple of weeks ago, £40,000 became available. I proposed at the meeting that we give that 40000 uh, the SARS fields for the redevelopment uh, of their TAA facility, uh, specifically the, the development of a 3G pitch. Um, SARS fields previously had received 80,000 from council in releasing the project, but were uh, 40,000 pounds short. That was an excellent opportunity for me and for Sarsfields, which is an excellent community facility. The many young people who will benefit uh, in terms of their sporting development and their skill development uh, will be uh, you know, numerous. There will be hundreds and hundreds a week now. We'll be able to use that facility once it's completed. So confirmed tonight at full council. 
Um, hopefully the Ansars fields will move uh, to complete our tender and exercise and builders hopefully on site January with a project completed by the end of March we hope. So excellent news all around, particularly for SARS fields. Uh, Lanadown is still a fairly young population and you know facilities like SARS fields don't only contribute to their sporting prowess but obviously contribute to their emotional health and well-being, their uh, uh, skills development in terms of team building, communication, engagement, all of that. You know, we prefer to have numerous facilities in the Lanadoon area where young people can engage in positive community activity and find something more constructive to do with their time rather than just having the street to play in. So facilities like this are crucial to the community development aspect of it, but more particularly in terms of youth development because Sarsfields are very keen on promoting young people within the area.